Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's put up a graphical representation of a quadratic equation, or more specifically, what it looks like when we're trying to solve a quadratic equation. So we grab one of the examples that we showed you before, x squared plus x equals 12. It's an equation. It has a left side, an equal sign, and a right side. And the unknown variable, there's one term where it's raised to the second power that makes it a quadratic equation. Now, if we move the 12 to the left side, we can then see that we have x squared plus x minus 12 equals 0. And now let's reverse the order so we have 0 equals x squared plus x minus 12. But what does that really mean graphically? Well, re let's replace the 0 with y. And now we have a function where y depends on x according to this definition, x squared plus x minus 12. And if we graph that, we get a parabola. This parabola is the graphical representation of the function y equals x squared plus x minus 12. Now, if we replace the y with 0 again, what are we essentially doing? That means we want to find where the function crosses the x-axis. So in essence, if we replace the y with a 0, that represents the locations where the function, y equals x squared plus x minus 12, crosses the x-axis. And the points, the x values, where it crosses the x-axis, those are the solutions of the quadratic equation. So when we're trying to solve the quadratic equation, we're trying to find where the equivalent function crosses the x-axis. Now we've already learned one method to do that. We learned it by factoring. So if we take this equation here and we factor it, Notice we had 0 equals x plus 4 times x minus 3. When we multiply binomials together, we get 0. That means either 1 or the other is equal to 0, which means either x equals minus 4 or x equals 3. So those are the two solutions to the quadratic equation. So if you want to know how do we physically represent the solutions, we draw the equivalent function, we replace a 0 by a y, we then graph the function y is a function of x, x this of course being a quadratic function, and then where it crosses the x-axis, those particular points where x is equal to on that graph, those are then the solutions to our quadratic equation. And so it's all about finding the places where the quadratic equation indeed crosses the x-axis, and that is how it's done.